the nominees for Game of the Year. On Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Spider-Man 2. Biggest, most embarrassing omission is Hogwarts Legacy from every category. I think Hogwarts Legacy was super snug. A Game Awards 2023 drama. Hogwarts Legacy has been snubbed in the category of Game of the Year. Hogwarts Legacy. It had absolutely everything necessary to be a legendary game. Gameplay? Knocked out of the park. Superb wizardry combat with a vast array of spells. You can become very competent and do some very cool stuff with the combat. Visuals? Competes with the best games in the market available right now. Even though TAA does give it a blurry effect, with some sharpening with your upscaler it can definitely get better. The designers are absolutely cooking and it's definitely the best looking Harry Potter game that is absolutely authentic. So what's the problem? It plays good? It looks good? What in the world else is wrong? Am I just being an ungrateful gamer who's being spoiled for choice because of the huge amount of high quality games that have been released in this generation? I beg to disagree. There's one significant aspect where I think Hogwarts Legacy dropped the ball significantly. I'm talking about the story of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm continuously trying to open the exe file but it's not opening and even when it does, it doesn't run optimally. I think the best way to conclusively describe Hogwarts Legacy is like a meal prepared by a master chef who pretty much included every single ingredient all around the land, prepared it to the absolute perfect temperature, presented it in an absolutely beautiful way for the entire world to be in awe of. But he missed out on one critical aspect. He forgot to add salt. He forgot the one aspect that brings the entire meal all together, the seasoning. And in Hogwarts Legacy, that very aspect is the story, the characters, and the plot. These things bring and take all of these separate and different mechanics and bring them all together to create a very special and interesting experience. The thing is, the things that are absolutely exceptional in Hogwarts Legacy are sensational individually and independently of each other. Without a bonding agent strong enough to pull it all together, it's just a disjointed experience that isn't able to join well together. Now the arguments that many people may bring up is that dude there are plenty of games that have um, essentially whack stories or where the story isn't the main focus that are still sensational games. I definitely agree then that is absolutely true but those games still have a saving grace that Hogwarts Legacy does not. An aspect that is so exceptional that the neglected part becomes insignificant. Let's consider Dark Souls for example. It doesn't have a conventionally presented story, you can find it through reading the books, but they also have the best level designers in gaming history and the loot that is in the world is worth exploring the world to actually find. Hogwarts Legacy is an open world game. Level design isn't able to save this experience as the design is essentially a large sandbox. Now the main missions are better from time to time as they're able to input puzzles into a linear framework of completing the main mission. But the thing is those levels are still missing a core, it's missing something strong, it's missing its soul the heart that brings everything together, the purpose, the reason we're doing all of this. I'm going to be cold and I'm going to be frank. Hogwarts Legacy does not have a compelling story in any sense. In fact, the story and plot of Hogwarts Legacy is actually quite boring and this extends to its characters, this extends to the plot, this extends to the final villain, this extends to every single quest that is in Hogwarts Legacy, downtrodding the entire experience because of a poor narrative structure. While the gameplay is absolutely Absolutely a great time, this game fails to provide the player with a worthwhile incentive to complete your goal. Your classes as a Hogwarts student are okay, but painfully bland. The main quest lacks urgency and fails to establish significant stakes. And what makes this hit home is how poor and boring all the characters are. Something that the Harry Potter series absolutely excels in which makes this issue even more painstakingly obvious. Your friends are boring, bland, consists of generic personalities you've seen in every single teen high school drama movie or TV show. The stereotypical rebel and the stereotypical nerdy girl stepping out of her shell to help you. These characters don't feel like real people. 
Now, some of the professors are better in this regard, but they aren't even the main participants of the story, so their characters don't come out to shine. And the main villain? Like, are we serious? Really? Not only is he not physically imposing, he fails to mentally strike fear into anybody other than his henchmen. He looks like a light pack that I could easily dispatch in the early hours of the game, considering the huge amount of difficult enemies we fight so early on. Now, depending on who you are, you may be able to just power through all of these issues that I've listed so far. You may be a big fan of the Harry Potter series and you just want an authentic wizard experience and this game will definitely give it to you but even as a fan you have to admit that they fumbled the bag in this critical aspect and it unfortunately pushes down the level of the entire game. Being absolutely honest with you, even if we take away the controversy of the LGBTQ agenda that JK Rowling has and it was nominated for game of the year, it still wouldn't win compared to its competitors because the story pulls down the entire experience. Now, an argument that someone may raise is, why is it even important for the story to be of a high quality? This is a video game. The most important aspect is the game plan, ensuring that you have fun. For a lot of gamers, the story is only a secondary aspect of the entire game. Open world games have much more pressure in terms of having better quests. The reason for this is because the story, the plot and the characters are going to be your main incentive to actually go out and explore the world. Hogwarts Legacy doesn't have loot that's exciting for you to find. You'll find legendary clothes everywhere, then you'll quickly dispose of them as you come across a suit or a hat that has better stats. From a gear perspective, your loot does not significantly change the way in which you play the game. That's more so dependent on your abilities that you choose to equip at the time. I dropped Hogwarts Legacy due to this very reason. I enjoyed the game a lot, it's actually really really fun and it's actually quite fire, it's got a great character creator but when the game fails to make you want to complete the quests, well I'm only going to keep playing for the action and once I've had my fill of the combat and the flying, well then it's time for me to head out. Maybe with a whole brand new team of writers, this game could have reached brand new heights. But unfortunately, that is not the case. Hogwarts Legacy unfortunately dropped the ball and they missed out on the opportunity of creating a masterpiece like God of War 2018. Now, perhaps a sequel will be able to rectify these issues, but I am not so sure. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I will check you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.